I'm so tapped up in a game I've been waiting for for quite some time. Kind of just popped up on the old Google Play Store. This is Terrarium, a garden idol game, and it's been on iOS for a little while, and it wasn't on Google Play. It's always a little frustrating. But here it is. Turn that down a little bit. So, it's an idol game, so you kind of... Looks a bit more standard idol game than, you know, something like Abyssrium, where it, you know, has its own visual, you know, unique display. Uh, it's, it's not much of a tutorial, huh? It just kind of pops you right into the action, I, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of... I, I, lit I have not played this. This is immediately what you get. Five oxygen per second. I guess that's a reasonable currency. What is... Oh, those are my skills. You unlock your skills immediately, I guess. Oops, I clicked out of the... Let me close that. There we go. Oh, aloe vera. You, you gotta love aloe. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Don't need to watch an ad for nine seconds. Um, it is a free-to-play game, as the ads probably uh, might indicate to you. Oh, it looks like there's only one primary currency, which honestly, one of the scariest things, it, it seems so silly, but like, uh, one, one of the scarier things when you start up a game is like, oh, there's how many different currencies? C because it's pretty much always the free currency, which is, you know, almost useless. You need a lot, but you get a lot. Um, then there's the premium currency, and once you start seeing multiple premium currencies, that's like, you better run, honey. It looks like we got a lot of shelf space. Uh, can we... Bot? No? Looks like you can only get one of each, so... It's kind of like, you know, above ground Abyssrian, but only with the only with the coral. Even though coral aren't plants, most people think of them like plants, but they're actually animals. Though not everything that Abyssrian calls a coral is actually a coral. See where seaweed is not coral and so forth. But, uh, yeah. Let's see what kind of options we got here. Night oh, night mode. Oh, oh, that is cute. I like that. That is, that's the most literal night mode I've ever seen. And I actually, I like it a lot. That actually makes, that's neat. Uh, it doesn't, God, it doesn't do what a night mode should do though, because a night mode, drag and drop the plants. Oh, neat. You can rearrange them. That's, that's a, that's a good feature. I like that you can, when you can kind of customize a little bit. Um, <laughs> but it's not really a night mode if the, the the everything else is still blinding white in the UI, is it? Yeah. Most of the skills recharge pretty fast, too. I, I see s room for three more tabs, so I am a little curious as to what goes on there. Level up. What do you mean level up? Level up bonus 500. Collect three times. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I clicked the thing to not get an ad, and I got an ad anyway. That's that's classic. Um, I think it meant like watch a full video versus you know an instant thing. But I hope I hope you can buy out. Can you buy ads out of existence? I don't I don't know if you can. I don't see an option for that. I don't. The, 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 there doesn't seem to be free a premium currency, so I guess there isn't a way to do that. But if the game is truly free and um, level five. Oh, come on. Busting my chops over here. Um, if the game is truly free, there's no premium currency, and there's no real, I guess there's no real grind that's like, oh, you gotta watch ads a billion times, and that's, ads are the only way to, what's this? Oh, that's just, if you long click, oh, they grow! That's cool. I was kind of wondering if that would be the case. I kind of figured. So, I guess, Maybe the early levels aren't super exciting. <laughs> I like you, Food Fantasy, but not right now, Honey Bunch. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's another game that if you play Food Fantasy, by the way, I have uh, many videos on that, and I have a written guide which has all the info that you could want. I don't know, why am I not tapping the, the best one? I kind of like how it combines. You know, in most idle games, you know, there's per tap vitality. Or, you know, in Abyssrian, there's per tap vitality and per second vitality. A tap is just the per second, but for the plant that you want to tap. So you just, you know, it simplifies. This is, seems very simple. Do you like terrarium? Yes, but you're going to put me... 
Do you want to rate it five stars? No. <laughs> I, that should be, that's questionable in my opinion. I knew that was going to happen, and I, you know, that's nothing unique to this game by any means. But a lot of times, um, they'll ask you if you like the game. And if you say no, it just boots you back to the game. If you say yes, it tries to get you to the, uh, to send a, um, a message or a uh, rubber fig. It tries to get you to, um, you know, post a review. But sometimes, if, uh, <laughs> it's like, oh, do you want to give us five stars or less than five stars? If you don't say five stars, like, nope. You don't need to review the game, actually. Ne never, oh, for Pete's sake, that is, um, <laughs> that, that is kind of annoying. I, I don't, I, I, I'm okay with ad f stuff, but I really, in a game like this, let me pay three bucks or whatever. I bought that in that, um, that cat game, and I honestly only played that a couple of days. Um, the f baking of food cats thing. And I still think it was fairly worth the price. I, it was a couple bucks I had, you know, you know, like an hour of fun out of it. I think that was, that was plenty. That was fine. Um, I guess just use all of these. I'm not sure which, I don't actually know what these do. So one of them, I assume that's like the multiplier. And that's like the, wait, what is it? Oh, oh no, it says you're at the bottom. I'm stupid, sorry. Um, so yeah, that's the multiplier, the first one. Intensive watering, 10 taps. Hi, Parker. Do you want to say hi? Hi, yes. Ooh, garden gnome. Ugh. I don't... Can I pay to not have a garden gnome? I don't like garden gnomes. Um, time to send production. Ooh, okay. Oh, the, that gets way expensive fast. 10 oxygen. Oh, he's the idol. <laughs> He creepily handles your garden while you're away. That's that's cool. That's as long as I don't have to see him, then I'm fine. Hmm. So this seems pretty simple. I, I'm wondering what the other three tabs are. If there are in fact three other tabs, I, I do assume there are. Oh right, I gotta do the level. No. Your ledger has your. This. <laughs> that seems really unnecessary. What? <laughs> There's an option to watch an ad, and then you just get an ad anyway. That's that is kind of rude. Uh, gotta say. Oh! Wait, what the? Did I just get a second snake plant? Is that what happened? I think I did. I think that's what this is? Is this Baboom's snake plant? Oh, I got two out of- Oh, yeah, it is. It is. There's, there's two. That, that's neat. So, yeah, I like this. I'm, I'm just getting started, obviously. But, uh, this is Terrarium. It's now on iOS and Android. Um, I'll give you a link. I'm playing the Android version. I doubt they're particularly any different. Um, it almost looks like we're setting these on a ladder. It looks like a shelf, but... Um, very simple, but I guess that means it's easy to get into. And I guess if you've never played an idle game before, uh, as long as you're willing to deal with that level up ad, which I guess it's... At least it's user-initiated. The, the, the absolute worst kind of ads... Um, are like when you're not aware you're gonna get an ad and it just happens. Like with that um, Tap Tap Savannah game, sometimes just moving between menus would give you an ad and it's like, what? That was, that infuri- I, I could not handle that. That was, that was no bueno. Wait, why does this, wait, I just realized it says 12. I think this is talking about the second snake plant. So the first snake plant is maxed and the second snake plant is 12 per second. Yeah, that's, what's, that's what it is. I was gonna say, 12 per second doesn't sound right. I forgot higher than that, right? It kind of seems like these should be like on screen or like there is an indicator when they charge, but I guess I guess when they're ready it probably shows you a little notification dot, so never mind, I guess it's fine. Um I am wondering oxygen immediately. I am wondering if there's other stuff to do. And um right now it might be a little too simple to bother with a guide on my site, I don't know. But uh, if there is more to the game, maybe I'll do another video. Maybe I'll make a little guide for it on my site. For now, it seems like a cute little... Uh, oh yeah, like I thought, it pops up with a little, little notification dot. So for now, it looks pretty neat and very simple. So I guess if you've never played an idle game before, um, it's a pretty, uh, pretty good one to start with. Hi, Parker. Yes. Yes, you're very needy today, aren't you? Um, so yeah, that is Terrarium. And by the way, why are there so few Terrarium games out there? It's like, it's annoying. There was that other one that I showed, um, Bottled Garden. That was pretty neat. It was, 
Um, very, very, even simpler than this. You know, it was more of a decoration game than a game game. But um, there's no music in this, by the way. I just noticed that. It's just sound effects. Uh, some calming music would add to this experience, but I guess it's pretty new, so maybe maybe they'll add to it. Hopefully they will. If mobile games are profitable, usually they keep expanding them until people get bored, and then they, unfortunately, just kind of peter out of existence. But, uh, yeah, that's Terrarium. <laughs>